So now it's time to enter into the crux of the topic that's what is a probability what is probability so probability is a measure of the likelihood as as the title it's itself as the name itself says probable probable it's just a probable the ability to become probable that's what the prob plus ability prob plus ability probability the ability to become a probable how much is that ability the respective event has that's what is probability okay so probability is a measure probability is a measure of the likelihood or chance of an event occurring that's a, that's what the uh, probability also suggests so it's a quantitative concept uh, that ranges from uh, zero impossible to one certain so probability theory is a branch of mathematics uh, that deals with the study of uh, random events or phenomena so probability can be defined as the chance of an event occurring see i'm i'm giving the various definitions one definition based on the uh, noun probability and second definition and the third definition so probability can be defined as the chance of an event occurring so it can be used to quantify what the odds are that a specific event will occur what the odds what the odds are that a specific event will occur some examples of examples of how probability used every day would be weather forecasting saying 75% chance of snow or for setting insurance rates so the probability of a event is basically calculated by the dividing the number of favorable outcomes by the total number of possible outcomes anyway we'll be seeing what uh, how do we calculate the probability and how, what are the ways how many methods we have and everything but for now i, ju I just want to give you some uh, uh, grasp of it that's it okay so we measure the how often using that's it so relative frequency is equals to a frequency of occurring respective event di divided by total number of uh, uh, total number of possible outcomes so basically you can just uh, you know uh, connect with the relative frequency that we have seen in statistics it's closer to that uh, this is what we measured how often using a formula called relative frequency which is equals to frequency of occurring of that number divided by total number of uh, total number of records in that or the sample size okay or total number of observations in that that's how we have calculated the relative frequency and the same way similar to that we calculate a probability as n gets larger so sample and how often is equals to relative frequency okay so prob example uh, now if you toss a fair coin there are two possible outcomes that that is our n small n heads or tails so each with an equal chance of occurring so therefore probability of getting heads would be one divided by 2 that's f by n 1 divided by 2 it's 0 0.5 similarly similarly the probability of getting tails is also 1 divided by 2 it's again 0 0.5 so probability theory is used in a wide range of applications including science engineering finance and the social sciences so it's particularly important in fields such as statistics machine learning and artificial intelligence where it is used to model complex systems and make predictions based on incomplete or uncertain information 